The dark clouds of General Motors' financial crisis still hover over parts of the company's European operations. GM's Opel and Vauxhall brands are likely to be saved from bankruptcy themselves thanks to the rescue deal with Canadian car parts company Magna and Russian savings bank Spurbank. But that deal doesn't guarantee any production plants outside Germany or safeguard any of GM Europe's 54,000 jobs. In Spain, the 7,500 workers at the Figuerellas plant believe increased productivity will keep their facility open. The Belgian plants are among Opel's most efficient. Workers there are optimistic, but concerns remain. Of course people worry a lot here about the future of GM Belgium, but last week at a meeting we heard that every plant should get the same capacity on a fair basis. Of the two Vauxhall plants in the UK, Luton appears most at risk. The British government believes both the country's plants have a future, but job losses are likely. Mohamed Motlib is one employee who's worried. He supports a family of four and is fearful of what lies ahead. Well, everyone's worried and thinking what's going to happen, so everyone's really not spending money and just worried, just waiting to hear what's going to happen. And if, we don't hope it does, but if it does close, it's going to affect the um, unemployment in Luton itself. Increased unemployment is a major concern for residents of the towns where production plants are based. In towns like Luton, jobs are already scarce. I think the government should do something about it. And instead of closing you know, what we got, they should try to open new things, give people more opportunity to do things. We don't have enough jobs as it is, and like the like, unemployment will go up again. And it's sort of like, it's been there for years, so it's like part of our, like, Luton's culture as well. Whether that culture can continue won't be known until all details of GM's future are laid out. Jane Azapati, Al Jazeera.